Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I have a quick tutorial for you about how to use a dagger or scraper brush to create beautifully organic leafy shapes with watercolors. But before I get into that, I did want to mention my website, CoreyFrankCreates.com. I'd love for you to go and visit so you can check out my art shop and sign up for my weekly email newsletter. That is the best way to stay in touch with me, know what I'm up to, and get potential deals as well that I have going on. So CoreyFrankCreates.com, please go ahead and check it out. Okay, like I mentioned, this tutorial is about using a dagger brush to create botanical leafy shapes. Let's go ahead and jump right in. I have two different brushes here. One is a quarter inch and the other is a three eighth inch. They're slightly different in size and shape, but they ultimately come to this sort of knife dagger point, hence the name of the brush. This type of brush is ideal for creating curvy botanical shapes and ribbons. So I'm going to show you how I use the brush for that purpose. So I'm going in with the quarter inch brush into some sap green paint. The brush isn't very wet, it's just damp, and I'm really picking up a lot of paint here. You can see it's over a third of the way, covered with paint, and that even might not be enough, as you will see in a moment. But you want to make sure the tip of your brush is at a fine point, so if you need to scrape off some excess paint onto a towel or something, you can do that. And then in a downward motion with the point right towards the page and the curve going away from you, you're going to press very lightly on the tip and then push down and out and then back up towards the tip to create this botanical shape. Now, like I mentioned, there might not have been enough paint on there, so I had to go back and add it in to complete the shape itself. But when you have enough paint and water all the way up the brush, I would say at least two thirds of the way up the brush, you could probably get away with also halfway up the brush. And I will show you again. You have your fine point, you start there, and then you press down and then lift back up to get to the fine point. And you can see the paint there is a little more watered down. It's not quite as thick because the paint isn't as opaque. But same kind of method. You just practice with this. Your point starting right on the tip, pressing and continuing an even motion and then taking it back right to the tip of the brush it just does that naturally in a curved motion now if you want to go back the other way same thing you start on the tip and then you press down and away from you and then lift back up and you can see it creates a reversed curve so either direction you're creating these nice leafy shapes I decided to switch colors here just to make it a little different, but this was easier to really fill the brush all the way. You can see it's almost towards the top of that brush covered in paint and has quite a bit of water. And again, I'm going in the reverse motion and you may have some mess ups like this. It might not be perfect every time. So you can go back and kind of repaint and reshape it with the tip of your brush. But for the most part, as you practice more and more, you are going to get these really decent leaf shapes, these leafy curves every single time. And it's very easy to do just over and over. Now with the larger brush, same kind of thing, but it is a slightly different shape. So I did want to show you what that looked like. I decided to have some fun and go in with some multicolors here. So again, I'm starting on the very tip starting to work my way out and then pressing and then lifting back towards the tip. Same thing again. And you can see I have some kind of multicolors in there because I had more than one color in the brush. But just doing that over and over and repeating that motion is going to really help you have fun and get these free botanical shapes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video and found it useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. Until my next video, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. God bless, and I will see you soon.